time he stepped out. Talk about breaking up a guy's rhythm. And now someone's going to need to take charge down there. This is getting ridiculous. So a couple of days ago during Gamescom, they showed off some new footage when it comes to the mother base or the FOB, as well as the gameplay mechanics and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm talking about Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain. Now, the mother base is pretty much your base of operations. Uh, there's a lot of cool... Uh, things going on when it comes to the multiplayer aspect, uh, building your defense system, um, getting all sorts of uh, different resources, guns, uh, as well as capturing enemies and then having them work for you in this base. So ultimately what you're doing is trying to build this base to be very strong, therefore if someone, uh, an intruder, another gamer, tries to invade your base it's going to be harder for him to in and to be honest with you I was kind of blown away when it comes to how deep some of the mechanics are and a lot of the elements in regards to uh, so many different options and tactics that you can use both defending and infiltrating and with that said the FOB feature of this game looks pretty damn awesome the whole uh, tactical metagame that's going on and hopefully I'll be able to give it a test drive and I'm looking forward to it so up until this point we have been kind of in the dark when it comes to what this whole microtransaction system is going to look like what it's going to pertain to and I saw a couple of red flags while watching this uh, Gamescom demo and when I say red flags, well, this is all based on my opinion and how I see things. And I picked up on a couple of things that the narrator had said, as well as some of the features within this FOB um, type of gameplay, to which I got a very strong impression or indication that the FOB might actually be the target when it comes to where they're going to implement this kind of microtransaction structure and let me explain why I think this is the case the narrator said towards the end of the video that FOB isn't necessary it is not crucial when it comes to uh, enjoying the game completing the game or the experience and we have heard things like that before uh, quick example Mass Effect 3 the multiplayer they had uh, their microtransactions within that system, within that element. Therefore, they were, um, you know, making an effort to tell all of us before the game launched that the multiplayer is not absolutely necessary when it comes to um, completing the game. I could give you a couple of other examples, but I'm just going to try and make this video short and sweet. I don't want to drag this on forever. I'm just going to say that many fortress builders where you're um, gathering resources, building defenses uh, to ward off any kind of intruders or attackers or competitors, um, well, they're usually littered with microtransactions by way of being able to build a structure right away if you pay for it, um, being able to... Um, get more resources and usually it's gems and things of that nature so if you look at the FOB component within Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain on the surface at its core it's pretty much a fortress builder where you're gathering resources where you're implementing defense systems to which has me a little bit worried because many of those types of um, games are usually free to play to begin with and the microtransaction structure is pretty much set up where you're able to get a head start at the very least let's not say pay to win but at the very least if you pay real money you're able to build things quicker and you're able to have more resources at your disposal and if this kind of element is within this whole FOB component within Metal Gear it's going to suck for me I have no problem um, buying different skins and, and color schemes for my base. As a matter of fact, you know, 
I don't often pay for microtransactions and things like that, but I would in a game like Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, uh, because the game does look that awesome when it comes to customization, so I would want uh, maybe the appearance of mine to stand out or look different from the next guy, so I would more than likely invest a few dollars in different things when it comes to appearance. But if it's going to have a direct impact in the gameplay, um, in a negative way, that is really going to suck. Because this FOB looks fantastic, and I want to be a part of it. And I'm just curious to what other people think. And um, I really hope that I'm fucking wrong. I really hope that I got it all wrong. Um, so anyways, take care. I love you all. Be safe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.